a lot of things that you can do in chat fuel with dialogue flow or in many chat with dialogue flow you can only do because you're using janus as a framework you see janus does connect you to dialogue flow but janus is actually a bot and so we've built janus with our own custom dialogue flow framework and then we extend that framework to other developers that want to build bots with dialogue flow <laughs> Intent chaining allows you to do some really interesting things. And I'll just do a quick example. So let's say we say help. And then you'll see two messages load. How can I help you? And then this menu. And you can see here this message above it. There's a, a body to, to the message and then some buttons. And then we also have that menu. And let's say, um, how do I integrate Janus? and we'll get a response, and then we got our help menu again. Now we don't actually put this help menu into every dialogue flow intent response. What we do is we chain it. And let me show you how that works. So in this one here, you can see here, uh, it's a simple FAQ with some, uh, some things that users might say to trigger the intent. And then down here is our response. And so uh, this is, we have a custom payload because you can see in Slack, we have some formatting and and that's, we use the, the custom payload. You might use a payload to redirect to your chat bot platform, or you might just have a text response in dialogue. I think what's important here is that this help menu isn't in the response. So if we look at this, where does that come from? It comes from another intent We've chained the intent. So we have this intent, we call it the help menu. All we have is our response here, which is that really long help menu. But it becomes more like an object that we can reference. And you can see here that all we do is we give it a event name. So I've called this help menu. And if we go back to our first intent, all we need to do is reference that. We just type event, that's a parameter, and then we put the event name, help menu. So event, help menu, and so this intent will get triggered, and then the other intent will be chained in. And that's how you get that uh, effect where, uh, what can you do? And there's our response, and there's our help menu. So we only need one intent with that massive help menu and then we can just chain chain that intent in. And so we can keep going. So uh, I can add another chain to it. Uh, you'll see here that I have a, another dialogue flow intent. I just call this my third message. So let's just give it an event name, message three. And that'll be our event. And you can see here, I just have a text response. This is the third intent chain. So let's just save that. And then we go back to this help menu. So after that help menu loads, we can just put event message three. And we'll save that. So now what will happen is you'll have this sort of chain reaction where we'll answer the user's FAQ with a response, with the payload. But because we have that event help menu, it'll trigger this intent with the event help menu. And because we have another event, message three, it'll trigger this intent. So let's try it. How can I integrate Janus? And there's our third intent. So you can see one, there's two, there's three, all three intents were chained together just by triggering that first intent. How does it work? Oh, I got a, I don't have the, the chain there. Okay, but I have it on that. So you see, this is a, this is a really efficient way of managing intents. You only need to create uh, these intents and then reference them. Now, this is just part one. There's so much more you can do with this intent chaining that's built into our framework. You can pass parameters, um, context. You know, you might have, you know, this same help menu, uh, but 
there it's slightly different there's might be some slight differences in it um and then so we can duplicate this intent and then uh, add context to one of them so depending on the context we can load in a different menu and you get that 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 effect uh, it works in both slack and messenger well in any bot that's built with janus really so this is intent chains part one and uh, i'll get to intent chains part two soon Thank you.